Welcome to How to Build a Gaming PC for $1,000, Part 1, Parts. My name is Matt, and I'll be presenting a series of videos that will show you how to build an awesome gaming computer that scored 7.6 out of 7.9 on the Windows Experience Index and will play pretty much any game on the highest settings. Part 1 is a shopping list of all the parts you will need to build this computer. The first part on our list is the Intel Core i5-3570K CPU, costing $220. The CPU, or Central Processing Unit, is a large computer chip that carries out the instructions of a computer program, basically the brains of the operation. It's a four-core chip that is very overclockable. It also comes with a fan that snaps easily into the motherboard, no pace required. Most people I talk to says it's not necessary to upgrade to another fan. I found a chart comparing the i5 and the i7 chip. Freeze the video here to check out the specs. Other than hyper-threading, there's no major difference between the two. The next part in my build is the Gigabyte Z77 DS3 motherboard that sells for about $109. It supports the Intel 2nd and 3rd gen CPUs with up to 32 gigs of RAM. Way more than you'll ever need. I was glad to see two SATA 3 ports great for solid state drives, which by the way, is included in the build. USB 3s and USB 2, PCI Express 3, X16 video card slot, and Crossfire X support. The BIOS is easy to understand and is in 3D. The next part in my build is the AMD graphics card. I purchased the Sapphire HD 7870. It costed about $229. Most importantly, it has 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, which gives you speed, responsiveness, and high performance. It has a dual fan and direct X11 support, one of the top graphics cards for the money. Here's some stats you may want to check out. The next part in my build is the RAM. I purchased the Kingston HyperX 8 gigabyte RAM for about $30. This RAM will do the job with a data rate of 1,600 megatransfers per second. 8 gigabytes of RAM is way more than enough for now. I'll upgrade later if I want. Moving on to the hard drive, I decided to splurge and get the Samsung Solid State Drive. 128 gigabytes of memory will cost about $110. If you have more money, buy more memory. Solid State runs your software ultra fast. It uses flash memory chips to store information electronically, instead of a magnetic disk. Store your programs and games on this drive. You won't be waiting for your games to load up. I also decided to get the traditional drive to store large amounts of data such as movies, pictures, basically all your personal files. I got the Seagate Barracuda 2TB drive. It's 7200 RPM and comes with a SATA 6 gigabyte cable. The cost was $109. To save money, I could have went with the drive alone, but I couldn't resist the speed of the solid state drive. Moving on to the DVD burner, I recommend to install one, as it is easier to load programs into your computer, or watch or burn DVDs. It's only $18, so you can't go wrong. I purchased the Samsung DVD Super Write Master. Next is the power supply. I got the Ultra Professional LSP 750 Watt Power Supply for about 65 bucks. It comes with all the connections you will need. Favorite part of my build is the case. I chose the ultra conservative red Phantom 410 Tower. It costed about $89. It comes with three fans and has room for more. Blue LED lights and a pair of USB 2s and USB 3s. Fan speed is controlled at a switch at the top. Removable HDD cage with slots. I personally like the side panel space, making your wiring look neat and tidy. That takes us to the end of part one in this series. If you like this video or it helped you in any way, remember to give me the thumbs up or subscribe. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, then click the link above for part two, assembly where you will begin installing the components we just showcased, such as power supply, CPU, and RAM. Click on Top Hat Productions if you live in the greater Toronto area and you are interested in computer workshops or video productions. I would enjoy helping others to build their first computer. Thanks again for listening.